Web apps that interact with files can now suggest file names and directories when using the File System Access API. Plus, you can now read files from the clipboard. If your site has more than one domain and shares the same account management backend, you can tell Chrome that they're the same, allowing the password manager to suggest the right credentials. All the videos from Google I.O. are now available, and there's plenty more. I'm Pete LePage. Let's dive in and see what's new for developers in Chrome 91. One of my favorite APIs to come out of the Fugu project this year is the File System Access APIs. Once the user has granted permission, apps can interact with files on the user's local device in the same way that other installed apps do, allowing you to create a more natural user experience. Starting in Chrome 91, you can now suggest the name and location of a file or directory to interact with. You can do this by passing a suggested name property as part of the show file picker options. The same goes for the default starting directory. For example, a text editor probably wants to start the file save or file open dialog in the documents folder whereas an image editor probably wants to start in the pictures folder. You can suggest a default start directory by passing a start in property. Check out Tom's file system access post on web.dev for complete details. There's one other cool new API for interacting with files that lands in Chrome 91. On desktop, web apps can now read files from the clipboard. Reading files from the clipboard has been available in Safari since 2018. Of course, you don't get unrestricted access to the clipboard, so you'll need to set up a paste event listener. Then, in the event handler, you can access the contents of each of the files on the clipboard. If your site has multiple domains and shares the same account management backend, you can now associate your sites with one another, allowing users to save their credentials once and have the Chrome password manager suggest them to any of your designated affiliated sites. This is ideal when your site is served from different top-level domains, like google.com and google.ca. Or maybe you've got multiple domain names. To associate your websites, you'll need to create an asset links.json file that defines the relationship between the different domains. In this example, I'm telling the browser that both the .com and the .co.uk domains are related and can share the same credentials. Then host the asset links.json file in the well-known folder for each domain. This functionality will start to roll out gradually in Chrome 91 and may not be available on day one. So check out Enable Chrome to share login credentials across affiliated sites on developers.chrome.com slash blog for the latest details. All the videos from I.O. are now online. There's some great content there, so check those out. Web Transport, previously called Quick Transport, has undergone a number of changes and is starting a new origin trial. WebAssembly SIMD has finished its origin trial and is available to all users. The refreshed form elements have finally landed on Android, improving the user experience. And the link element's media attribute will be honored for link rel equals icon, meaning that you can define different icons based on media queries. For example, you can have a different icon for dark mode and a different icon for light mode. All the details, including links, docs, and specs, are in the updates post linked in the description. Hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss any of the latest Chrome DevTools videos, HTTP 203, or any of our other great content. I'm Pete LePage, and as soon as Chrome 92 is released, I'll be right here to tell you what's new in Chrome. <laughs>